Now, a major global medical breakthrough for thalassemia patients has come to the front. The US drug regulator, FDA, has approved a new drug that could dramatically reduce dependence on lifelong blood transfusions. Thalassemia, a genetic blood disorder, causes severe chronic anemia and forces patients into frequent transfusions and complications like iron overload. The new oral drug offers fresh hope for a transfusion-free life and better quality of living. While the approval is a big leap, the drug yet to reach India is raising hopes and expectations among thousands of patients and their family. We spoke to senior physician Dr. Sanjeev Bagai about this drug. A big breakthrough uh, moment for uh, the thalassemia patients. How is this oral drug going to be a game changer? Yeah, good, good morning. So I think uh, uh, thalassemia is a uh, dysfunction of the beta proteins which are produced in the body. It, it is of three types. It is of uh, what we call as thal minor, uh, in which it is non-blood transfusion dependent. You have an intermediate and then you have a thal major, which is almost always invariably blood transfusion dependent, almost every three to four weeks. And these, unfortunately, children don't live very long, well beyond the first decade. So any medication which uh, deals with the synthesis of the beta proteins at the bone marrow level, that means it regulates the metabolism of the protein to have better synthesis and better hemoglobin production would definitely be a game changer. What happens really with regular blood transfusions is that the children generally have a huge amount of iron overload and deposition in the body. And then subsequently, they have to undergo what we call as chelation therapy. That means to remove the excess iron. So it's an ongoing uh, uh, distress for the child and the family. Blood transfusions every month and then chelation therapy over a period of time. Plus, uh, uh, duration of life is grossly shortened. School performance dips overall mental performance dips. So anything which can correct it at the root cause is definitely most welcome. Right. And what could be the life-term health benefits as the patients will now be avoiding lifelong transfusions? Yeah, so there are multiple benefits. One is, of course, a cost impact because blood transfusions every month uh, is not very cheap. Point number two is that the blood transfusions, even though the blood is screened for HIV, hepatitis B, hepatitis C, and other viruses, but if the blood transfusion is screened uh, before the blood transfusion, if the blood is screened in the window period, that means the virus may not be picked up or detected in the in the screening, that poses a threat of viral infections uh, transmission through blood transfusion. And three, of course, is the long-term impact of the quality of life and the life of, uh, of the child. So if we can give a better quality of life, a longer duration of life to a child, the child can go to school as normal, can play sports as normal. The faces and the look of the child is normal. It will be wonderful. Also, doctor, can there be any unforeseen uh, side effects and comp complications also associated with this oral drug? See, any medication has certain, uh, uh, certain effects uh, which are not al aligned with the performance of the drugs for its benefit. But I'm sure that the, the benefits will clearly outweigh the small disadvantages, and this is a new medication. So over a period of time, we will see what kind of clinical results we have, what are the side effects we have seen. There will be multicentric cohort studies, data release. So we will deal with that when it comes to it. One last question, doctor. When can India expect to have this medicine? A few months, I think, at least. There would be Indian trials for sure. ICMR would conduct Indian trials, uh, probably six to eight months or nine months. Uh, the 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 effects, if it has been FDA approved in US, uh, will be distinctly good. But we need to test it in Indian population before mass use. But let's try and explain why are we so excited about this drug. Remember, thalassemia is a problem that is especially seen in Asian countries. And now it seems that US has, has approved a drug. And this is an oral medication, thereby a simple treatment for thalassemia. And what does it do? 
it basically treats the underlying problem which is present in the red blood cells and it just does not only treat the symptoms which are anemia or fatigue uh, lack of blood but it helps in the formation of the blood cells which is the basic underlying problem now this is a huge breakthrough for patients who are dependent on lifelong blood transfusions because that is the only proper treatment available to thalassemia patients right now and these patients need regular blood transfusions and they have to keep going back to the center or the clinic or the hospitals to get those blood transfusions and there is a huge risk of uh, diseases coming through uh, uh, the transfusion and that is a problematic situation now an oral drug can actually improve survival and quality of life because the patient will not have to go again and again to get a blood transfusion now what really is thalassemia let's try and understand that well it is an inherited blood disorder by inherited we mean it is genetic so the body uh, because of a problem a gene mutation does not make enough hemoglobin and when there is no hemoglobin or lack of hemoglobin that leads to a sort of a misfunction or a, a non-functioning of the RBCs which are your red uh, blood cells in your body they do not function properly when your RBCs don't function properly then the oxygen delivery throughout your body will be reduced because that is the main function of the RBCs the red blood cell now people with thalassemia they generally tend to have either mild or they can even have severe thalassemia depending on their condition now when you have severe anemia now that can lead to a damage of organs because proper blood flow is not happening to your organs and that can damage the organs and that is what is expected that if thalassemia is cured by just one pill this will help the uh, patients who are suffering from it